well in defense. Uh, and our bench came in and kept the energy going, and I thought uh, it was impressive. Uh, first step uh, with our uh, defense, getting our hands on some balls, deflections, block shots. And, and Fullerton's a very good team. They'll, they'll get better as the year goes. So it's, um, we, we knew coming in that they, uh, they were going to challenge us. And, and um, they had a very good year last year. And we expect them to be very good again in their league. So we, 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 uh, we were ready to play tonight because we knew how good they, they were last year and how good they, we think they'll be this year. Coach, um, under the circumstances that are currently hovering, unfortunate circumstances hovering over the program right now, has it been a little bit tougher for you to prepare your team for the season opener than tougher than usual? Well, as I stated before, it's been a challenge in the uh, program level and personal level when you have a distraction that uh, everyone, we all care about each other. And, and, and so we have to try to stay focused on what uh, we can do, and that's try to prepare to win basketball games and, and come together as a team and get better. And, and I give our players credit. They've done that. Uh, I think we're much better now than we were at the beginning of training camp uh, 30 practices ago. What do you think about the addition of the uh, three-pointer for his shot? For his that, game, uh, Chemezi. Chemezi's been shooting the ball very well from the three-point line. And he's in practice in our scrimmages. And uh, so what is he, two? He made two tonight? Mm -hmm. Yeah, two for two. And he, he says his rotation looks great, his form. And he improved last year as a, a free throw shooter. He improved up about 25%, 30% last year. Shot over 72, 73% from the foul line. Um, it added his mid-range jump shot. And now he's added his, his range, improving his range. I give our assistant coaches a lot of credit. And Chemez, he's a workaholic. And uh, Coach Hart, Coach Kafka, they've been, they've been in the gym with him the last couple of years. Uh, really, he changed his shooting technique when he came here. Uh, and so to see him, uh, that, that's the next part of his game, to improve, improve his range. And if he, uh, if he keeps shooting like that, well, that's, that'll really help us. What does that do for his game? Well, it, well, he's so quick that if you have to guard him all the way to the three-point line, uh, he can go by you too. So uh, uh, I think it just adds something else you have to guard and prepare for. Speaking of quickness, what did you see from Derek Gordon this, uh, this Well, Derek is, is exceptionally quick with the basketball. His first step, first two steps, so he can get by people when he pushes the ball in transition. And I thought he played a nice game tonight. He had 11 points, uh, played big minutes off the bench. How does this performance impact uh, what you've got to juggle in the backcourt? Well, uh, we're not juggling anything. We have good players at every position, and the guys that perform will play, and guys that are good teammates and, and, and do the things in the classroom and, and everything else that we ask them to do as a program. So uh, I thought he did a nice job tonight coming off the bench, uh, and, and so uh, the other guys. So. Uh, we'll continue to develop our playing rotation as we go through the, the early part of the season, and, and we expect our players to play as hard as they can, play good defense, and if they can score a few points, that'd be nice too. The Anthony is uh, Anthony sitting out right now, obviously. Um, what does the timeline look like on kind of the internal investigation that you guys are doing? Well, we're very hopeful it, it will be quick. and. As I said, we're hopeful that he'll be back in the court uh, very soon. Mm -hmm. What does he bring to you on the floor whenever he's here? He's a great player. He does everything. He's, he's an exceptional player. Coach, you have 10 players with points and five in the double digits. Can you talk to us about this team's selflessness? Well, we try to share the basketball. Uh, I thought we missed a lot of easy shots throughout the game where we could have had more assists. I thought we, we, we made some good plays. We hit some wide open shooters. And then we missed a lot of shots around the rim tonight. Uh, so I thought we could have had a few more assists if we just took care of business and made the open shots because guys were sharing the basketball. Uh, there were two players mentioned in the Tony Bland you know, complaint you guys kind of are dealing with right now. Uh, I only noticed the Anthony sitting out. Is that to say you guys have done some sort of internal review and concluded that the Anthony is the only one with potential issues or is uh, does it not necessarily say that? What, unfortunately, as a, a head basketball coach, uh, I don't know all the answers and, and I don't know a lot of the information. So my job is to coach this basketball team, and, and that's what we're doing. And, and I just can't comment because a lot of stuff I don't know. And, and if I do know something that's, uh, that, that's confidential, I can't say it anyway. So. Uh, but we're just trying to stay focused on the team, and, and, and uh, we have a big game Monday night, and, and then we have a, a few
few days off, and, and then uh, we go on the road. So we have a lot to play for here early in the season. What did you think of the defensive effort tonight? I thought it was great. Uh, we weren't perfect, but I thought we got our hands on a lot of basketballs, blocked some shots, got some steals, caused some deflections, caused some turnovers with our pressure, our press. And, and any time you can uh, hold a team as good as Fullerton to uh, the percentages from the field and also get 11, uh, what do we have, 11, nine blocks and six steals. So uh, we, we have improvement to do, but, but for the first game, I thought it was pretty good. How different was it to kind of be able to take care of business early, not have to get behind and come back like you guys did so often last year? Well, it was nice, and that's our energy. That's uh, we, we have to. We're at, we're at home. Uh, that's what we expected to come out and, and play with energy, get, get the lead, and, and try to extend the lead. Uh, last year, many times we, we we were maybe we didn't get the lead, or if we did get the lead, the other team got it pretty quickly. Uh, so it is nice to to really just play 40 minutes of basketball where, where we, we're in control and, and have a chance to uh, play different rotations and also get some guys in the game, uh, get some experience early. That theme of home court advantage, it's a pretty packed crowd tonight, which has been different in seasons past. Uh, as the success continues for the program and, and attendance continues to rise that game, does that become more of a factor for the players? I saw at one point Shaquan was trying to get the crowd going. Well, we had great student support tonight. I thought we had a very good crowd for opening night. And we have a top 10 team in the country. At least that's what the, the polls show. Uh, so we would hope that our students, the, the basketball community here in Los Angeles, appreciates uh, what these players have done to, for, for the USC basketball program the last couple of years, and, and, and hopefully we'll have a good season. Uh, now, we don't take anything, anything for granted because we know it's game by game and we have to go perform, but it's very nice to, to have that energy in the crowd. And, and uh, I was very happy that our students came out tonight, and uh, we hope it continues.